Hello friends, in today's video we are going to study microscope, most important instrument for all biology students. So first we need to understand how to handle a microscope, how to hold it. Never shake microscope like this. You need to keep your hand at the base while handling it. Never hold it like a world cup. So please one hand at the handle and one hand at the base. So this is how you can handle the microscope. Let's explore the parts of microscope. What is this? This is eyepiece. When you look at the eyepiece, it is 10x. 10x means it is going to zoom the organism or the cell 10 times. Eyepiece is the place where you are going to place your eye. This part is body tube, which is actually it can be dismantled or removed from the microscope. I am removing it only to show. Please don't do this in your college laboratory. This place is called as nose piece where this lens will be fitted. The body tube, the draw tube. And the lens here, what we can see is 45x lens. So 45x is high power and 10x is low power. There is one more lens called as oil immersion lens, which is not used in junior college level. Now this 45x and the eyepiece is of 10x. So you can understand the multiplied and you get the zooming power. So here what we have is 10 into 10, 100 times magnification will be there under low power and 450 times under high power. Place the lens properly in the nose piece and when you see this, this is the notch. If the lens has to be in proper position, we hear a sound actually while moving the nose piece. So the lens and the eyepiece should be in a straight line. Now this body tube goes back into the position. There is a knob called as rough adjustment knob which I am using it right now. Rough adjustment knob is used to move the body tube up and down as per the focusing of the slide. Now sometimes the eyesight of the students vary so they use fine adjustment. So fine adjustment is a small one below the rough adjustment. This is the clip which is meant to hold the slide on the stage. So rough adjustment to move up and down and fine adjustment as per your eyesight. This is the body for handling the microscope. And when we bend little bit, there is a knob. Now this part what I am removing is actually a condenser. Now when we remove the condenser, it is holded by a small pin at the base of the stage. Now when we remove the condenser, we can see lots of things here. This is the lens called as converging lens. It is going to converge all the light. And this part is meant for focusing or little bit adjusting the intensity of the light. And the center what we see is the diaphragm. Now this is a diaphragm which opens and closes like a shutter, you can say the camera lens shutter. So this diaphragm is open when we are using the microscope and when we are not using it is closed. We need to understand if we cannot see any light under microscope. So we need to first check the diaphragm that it is open. Now we need to place it back in the microscope. What we need to understand at the base of the condenser, you can see something that is mirror. Now this mirror is very important. Without mirror you cannot see anything under microscope because it reflects the light. A mirror rotates 360 degree. I have seen students moving here and there with the microscope. Never move with the microscope. Rotate the mirror in such a way that the light should fall on the mirror. It has two mirror, concave and plane mirror. So depending on the intensity of light, plane mirror or concave mirror is used. Just by moving finger on the mirror, you can understand, you can feel the plane mirror and the concave mirror. Now, we need to be very much careful while handling the microscope. How to focus the slide under the microscope? The I have made a separate video for that. The link to that video is in the description box. So, learn very nicely the parts of the microscope. Hope you have understood the, the parts and while handling, be very much careful. So this is all from my side. Thank you very much. Do like, subscribe, share the video with your friends.